Hello everybody, I'd like to give you a little preview here of my new Explore Scientific 140 millimeter refractor telescope. Now a few years ago I bought Explore Scientific's ED80 millimeter refractor telescope and this is a wonderful little telescope. In fact I've taken some beautiful deep sky pictures using this little 80 millimeter telescope. Now, out of all the telescopes I've owned, I've come to realize that the refractor uh, produces the, the best views and also uh, I can get the best images from a refractor. The contrast and clarity is just terrific. And so I decided to step up to this uh, 140 millimeter refractor. I never thought that I would ever uh, own a, a large refractor like this. But I saved my pennies and uh, took quite a few of them to to get this big uh, five and a half inch aperture that this uh, telescope has here. And so it, here we're uh, we're getting the thing unpacked. And all these Explore Scientific refractors come with this nice uh, carrying case. It's just included with the telescope. Uh, and so here we are, we're just unpacking the, the paperwork, and there's there's not a whole lot of instructions with with this telescope. They probably assume that you, if you're buying this telescope, you you know a little bit about them. Now, right off the bat, I can see that this is truly a, a monster telescope, and uh, for the size of it, it only weighs 20 pounds. It's really not that heavy. And of course, that uh, is probably due to that carbon fiber body that they that they made this telescope out of. And uh, you'll see that in just a second after I get the paper off of here. Now, not all telescopes come with the uh, cradle ring and carrying handle either. And so, um, Explorer Scientific has included uh, what you really need to get started here. And this is a little bit different from my 80 millimeter telescope in that uh, this, this cradle ring here is much more substantial, of course. And they've got these big uh, screws that you, you unscrew. And um, of course, I'll have to take them all the way out and open this thing up in order to uh, get the paper off from that carbon body there. Now both my 80 millimeter refractor and this telescope are both um, airspace triplets and that was a must for me uh, when I'm doing imaging. Uh, that, that triplet design will virtually eliminate any uh, chromatic aberrations uh, so that you'll get just brilliant high contrast uh, images from the telescope. I found that uh, to be true with the 80 millimeter refractor, and I, I hope that this one's just as good. Now I mentioned that this cradle ring here has a handle, and it also contains a Vixen-style dovetail plate, so you have everything you need just to uh, go ahead and mount this thing on a tripod, or in my case, I'll, I'll be mounting it on my pier in my observatory. Now these cradle rings here are a very uh, good feature because they allow you to easily loosen that up and uh, slide the telescope where you need it to be so that it's balanced. And here I'm just sliding the dew shield back so I can take off that cover. On the 80 millimeter telescope it unscrewed, but I discovered this one it, it just slides over the end there. There's, there you can get a, a look at that new O'Hara FPL 53 glass that they're using. They claim it's the best glass ever produced by O'Hara. Time will tell. I can't wait to get this telescope out there and give it a try. I wanted to give you a heads up here. You can see how that is quite a lot of free play right there. And when you're putting this together, you want to make sure that you get it lined up so that it's going straight into the, the threads. You don't want to cross thread, of course. And this one here is tighter to screw in than this, this one on this end. 
but I had to be very careful to, uh, to get those bolts started so that they're going in straight. And of course, once you've, you've got it on there, you probably never take it off again. You just loosen it up and you can slide that cradle where you need to be for balance. This is just a starting point for balance. When I get it on the tripod, I'll be able to make some adjustments. And this particular tripod is really not made for a telescope that uh, weighs 20 pounds. I'll just be careful for purposes of this uh, demonstration here. Now we'll check out this 3 inch focuser. They've designed this so that uh, you can attach up to 10 pounds of gear, camera gear, on the end of this and uh, not worry about it. It's very substantial and very smooth. Of course there's a fine focus knob also. And when you lock that down that, that will stay right there. Once you get in focus it, it'll stay right where you want it to be. Now this pa package also includes a diagonal and uh, that's not always the case with uh, other companies but Explore Scientific uh, in includes a few nice accessories here. And here's another one. This is the finder scope mount. And that's already on there. And I've got my uh, finder scope that I got uh, for my 80 millimeter refractor. And I can just use the same finder on this big refractor telescope. Now right there is the Explore Scientific 140 millimeter refractor telescope. Okay, in the case there's a little slot there that's cut out of the foam and if you leave your cradle ring loose you can slide it so that it uh, it fits right down in there and I like to have the, the focuser knobs up so I make sure that I don't uh, damage those. So it's a, a pretty substantial case, nice tight fitting and uh, the case that I have for the 80 millimeter refractor it has done a good job. I've, I've hauled that thing all over the place and uh, it's protected that little telescope. So there's the 80 millimeter telescope and for comparison here I'll lay it right here on the case. You can see how much bigger that 140 millimeter telescope is. Well for the next week here in western New York they're forecasting cloudy weather but on the first clear night I'll be out there.